Dr. Mindy here, and I am back with you talking about autophagy. So if you're new to my channel, let me just start off by saying welcome. We are discussing all things fasting here, and I am on a mission to get a million people building a fasting lifestyle. You will see as you go through my videos that one of the best ways to keep your immune system strong, your weight down, your brain clarity at its best, and your energy up is through all different types of fasting and very specific types of eating. That's what I'm teaching you here on this channel. So welcome. And as always, if you love this video, you guys, share it out into the world. We are trying to get the world healthy. It is 2021 and it is time for us to take personal action around our health. That's how we're gonna end this pandemic we're in is when we look within and take our own personal action. On this video, I am going to go into what we call the GK index or GKI. It is ways to measure autophagy and there's a lot of nuance here. So stick with me. I don't want to bore you with a bunch of numbers, but this is a very common question that we get a lot, which is how do I know how to measure autophagy? And it's a little tricky. So let me give you some ideas and I'm, uh, on what you can do to see how deep of an autophagy state you are in. The first thing I want you to think of, unlike all the other fasts, I talk so much about how those fasts are like turning on switches of healing. When you turn on autophagy, it's more like a dimmer light. So at 17 hours, you start to turn on the light for autophagy and it'll go all the way until you hit 72 hours, which is a three day water fast. That autophagy state will continue to get greater and greater and greater as you fast longer. So at 17 hours, you start to, to turn the dimmer light on. Now in other types of fasts, we talk a lot about measuring your blood sugar and your ketones first thing in the morning and then right before your first meal. That is a great way to see how you are getting into ketosis. But we're not talking about getting into ketosis. We're talking about how do I know if my body is in this incredible healing state called autophagy. And there are three measurements. One is a very difficult measurement that is done through a blood test and it measures what they call autophagy flux which is again, how your cells are going in and out of autophagy. I have left the link for you guys that are the science nerds and you wanna know everything you can about how to measure autophagy. I have left the link explaining what blood test you would need to do to be able to see the state of autophagy that you would wanna be in. So that's probably the, the most scientific. The second way is what we call the GKI or GK index. And this is a calculation. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blood glucose in milligrams, I, depending on where you are in the world, I'm just gonna go off of milligrams here and then I'll give you some different ideas of how you can calculate this really easily. But you take your blood glucose, you divide it by 18. And whatever that number is, you're now gonna divide that by your ketones. And there are ranges. So once you get that number, here are some of the ranges. You are in a high state of ketosis if that number, after you've done the division, if that number is be less than one. This is necessary for those of you who have a cancer diagnosis or wanna use ketones and autophagy for more of a healing state for things like epilepsy. You are in a high functioning, a high state of ketosis or autophagy when you are between a one and a three. This is great for those of you that have diabetes or you really have a significant amount of weight to lose. You wanna shoot for that one to three number. Three to six is what most of us are gonna try to do. So three to six is functional ketosis. You're getting a little bit of autophagy in that area, not as much as if you were under one, but remember it's a dimmer switch. So you're still getting some autophagy between three and six. And then six to nine is very low levels of, of ketosis, low levels of autophagy. Three to six, functional ketosis, functional autophagy is much more 
Uh, it's great for those of you that know you have some insulin resistance, but you don't, you're not di di type two diabetic or have a significant amount of weight to lose. So three to six is much more of a functional place where those of us that just know we can, we can get insulin resistance, um, pretty quickly, either through diet or we notice like if we go off our, our good eating, we hold on to weight very quickly, you're going to want to try to get that three to six measurement. And then low levels of ketosis or autophagy would be somewhere between six to nine. And this is great for those of you that just want optimal health and you want to maintain your weight. So that's the GKI index. You can go to ketomojo.com and they have a calculator there. You can just put in your, uh, your glucose number and your ketone number and it will give you, spit out a number. I did one for you guys, like if you were at 90 milligrams blood sugar and your ketones were at one, your GKI would be around five, which would put you in the functional state. So that is a, a helpful tool to look at. I typically haven't taught, taught you guys GKI because I find so many people get obsessed with the numbers and I, I want us to be fluid and flexible with these principles. They're awesome, but we don't need to start taking our obsession with the scale and putting it on our blood sugar reader. It should be more fluid than that. That's why I love this range that I just gave you. You can go to my community section or to my Instagram and my team has created little squares for you so you can see exactly what I just taught you. Those numbers, you can go and plug them in. Okay, now there's another way to test and I'm gonna give Dr. Boz credit for this. So she has a great YouTube channel that talks a lot about ketosis, a lot about fasting, so you can go check her out. She has a range that she likes for autophagy and it goes something like this. You take your glucose and you, you divide it by your ketones. So it's a little more simple. I have, we're still looking into the science of where she found that. Uh, I'm hoping to bring her on the Resetter podcast so I can pick her brain, but we're looking at simplicity when we look at Dr. Boz's ratio. So glucose over ketones, if you are under 80, if you take that measurement and you are under 80, you are in a low level of autophagy, which is perfect for weight loss. If you are under 40, you are, there's a solid chance you're in autophagy, according to Dr. Boz, and this is where you're gonna repair your immune system. Less than 20 you have a, your, is your best chance of autophagy, and those of you that have cancer or are fighting cancer, this is where you're gonna wanna be. So again, I ran a hypothetical situation for you. If you had a blood sugar of 85 milligrams and your ketones were at 0.5, you would take that blood sugar, divide it by those ketones, and you would get a reading of 56. 56 would be a, in a low level of autophagy. So it gives you ranges to play with, which I really, really like. So measuring autophagy is tricky. This is, and every, when I went down the research path, everybody says it's even the blood test is really tricky. So there's two things I want you to realize as we go through this fast training week and we're diving into these principles of autophagy is that they're the GKI uh, or the GK index, awesome. Dr. Boz's index or ratio seems to be pretty good. I'm pretty excited to try it on all of you during this week. So give us feedback, which one of those ways you're going to measure this week as we do fast training week here. So I'm not, I'm not refuting her ratio. I think there's some interest, it's, it's simplicity is really great. And then you've got the blood test. But like I said, remember that these are all indications of where you are in the autophagy dimmer. Ketosis is the sign that you are a fat burner, that you've tapped into that energy system. So we can use ketones as a measurement. We've moved from that state of sugar burning. But when we wanna look at how well those cells are repairing through autophagy, we're gonna need to move beyond just looking at blood sugar and ketones. We're gonna need to look at the GK index we're gonna to need to lean into Dr. Boz's ratio and use those as a tool to kind of give us an idea of how close we are to being in this state of autophagy. So there you go. That's how you measure it. I'm gonna ask you to love on those numbers. I'm gonna ask you to not be rigid with it, but to be playful with it. 
If you guys need this all written out, you can get my free companion guide to the whole, all of the videos I've done this week on Fast Training Week. Just put companion guide in the notes and or in your comments and my team will come in and get it for give it to you. It's free. It's just outlines everything I've talked about here. And if you want to experience this, if you want to go through a guided experience with me and my team, we are taking the month of January. It's called the Reset Experience. And if you're ready to lose weight, you're ready to get healthy, ready to get your immune system strong, ready to be at a better level of health, then join us. Just put Reset Experience in the comments. And as always, you're the miracle. You're the, you're the one that gets all the credit for the incredible results that you get with these strategies. So do not give up on yourself. You're the hero you've been looking for. You just haven't been taught how to tap into this incredible intelligence inside of you. And that's what I'm teaching you. As always, I hope this helps.